Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the jetpack class like a pro. I'm going to show you guys a normal gameplay video and only interject when I want to talk about why and how I use the jetpack in that situation. Without further ado, let's get right into it. What up here, men? Hello? R9, I am bad with shoddy, so I refuse to grab. I know there are some men, such as a Mr. Cheddar, who can go and dominate. It's R9. But I am a simple man and I cannot. I'm a poor man's Cheddar. Whoa. Oh, is that UI magic? Oh my. Jose, you're making me go like oopsie doopsie daisy, baby. Like, that guy was really scary to go up against. Whoa! Oh, baby! Okay. Whoa. Alright, my ch- Oh, dude, that was gnarly. Hey. Ooh. Yes. We're not. In this 1v1 gunfight, the only reason I put initial shots in the enemy and then went down into the parking lot was just to trick him into thinking that I fell down. And then obviously here with jetpack, I was able to get back up and then re-engage myself into that gunfight. And then I had the advantage just due to his back being turned. This is just an example of using the environment around you in order to go and better ensure your survival in a gunfight. And I do this quite often with the jetpack clap. What is it? No! You do not escape. That was not low-key. The opposite. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm getting real. <laughs> that guy's coming back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Welcome on back in here, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come one, come all. Okay, that was not the man who I'm worried. Ow. I was not the guy who worried me. Oh my. We are fine. We are fine. Ooh, smart play. I was bold. Oh no. God, oh God, what is this? You see, this is why I didn't want this to happen. This is why I did not want this to happen. You see why I'm freaked out over these things here, boys? Oh, I'm so dead. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh yes. Not only can jetpack be really good for being aggressive, just like how I used it when these guys came back from the revive flight, because since I saw two guys dropping, that's when I decided to go and pop my main ability for jetpack, and I only tend to go and use my main when I'm about to go and fight two or more people, just to go and make it easier for me. But jetpack can also be really good if you want to go and run away. Just like how you guys saw it in this gunfight, the gentleman went and flashed me with his defender shield, so first thing I did was pop pop my main ability, jump into the sky, and just try to go and find some better positioning. I'm a scared man, check. I think I had to use it on that. Yo. Oh, dude, this is such a long construction fight here. You going in the pipe? Oh, no pipe. Whoa, whoa, wait, hold on. I could see... Okay, so this is an actual man. I think there is one more other guy here. Oh, my man. What up here, baby? Oh, come on! Oh, 
half of the teams are eliminated. The revised light Oh, this man is slippery. Oh. Oh god. Um The safe zone is collapsing. Oh my god. 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 Yo, what a how are we? How are we? Oh my. Oh! Wait. What? We are fine. We are fine. We are fine. Rather than being up on top of the mountain for this gunfight, I decided to go on the side of the cliff due to me being in cover while at the same time, if I wanted to be aggressive, I could just quickly pop up with my jetpack and then go back into cover. Since I saw another bigger team coming up, I decided to go and pop my main ability just in case I had to go and fight multiple people. The thing is about this gunfight is that I only got into one direct fight with an enemy, so in order to not deplete all my fuel in my main ability, I went up into the sky and activated my wingsuit which stops the fuel usage making it so I can get my main ability faster again okay so this is where the men come to cry is down here I like this spot good little crying hole oh no way this man is dude this guy's bold I'll give it to him I'll play it tip the cap to you here sir Mr. Reds Wow, how many goodies? Oh, oh no. This will be fine. There. I think the other guy is going to be on the boat here then. Oh, it's only one? Oh. Oh no! I sent him! Wait, where are you? Oh, yo. Nice. A big feature that I like about the jetpack is that if you use the jetpack right before you hit the ground from a far height, you won't take any falling damage. This is great if you want to go and sneak up on an enemy without using your wingsuit, because if you do use your wingsuit, you'll get that on-screen notification of where that wingsuit person is at, and it's not really the greatest if you want to go and do a sneak attack. Oh, Parker Yoinker! Oh, all I want to do is yoink! Oh, I get so close to my yoinks! Oh no! Oh no! All right. These are some loyal boys here. Dude, it's like a just a wall of men. It's a straight up wall of men. Be careful. The poltergeist is active. Okay, now nah. this is definitely making it a little bit easier here for me. Ooh, that's a good blast. Ooh, yes! Ooh, we know. Yo, okay, that was a game. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Jetpack being a huge component in helping me go and finish off this 1v4 situation. Once again, this is one of those situations in which I was using the environment around me while at the same time using Jetpack just as like a cover. That rock coming in super clutch just in order to go and wipe out three-fourths of that team. And then when it came to the final guy, this is one of my favorite things to go and do, which is using grenades because when you're all the way up in the air you can really have a better location where you want to go and have those grenades be placed and due to that cluster grenade placement which I only would have been able to go and do with my jetpack class I was able to go and force the final enemy hiding beyond the rock to go out into the open making him an easy target so I could go and secure the win if you guys are new be sure to sell if you like the video today and found it very informative be sure to go and give it a like, and I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video.